Een band die tot het vaste meubilair behoort van Graspop is uiteraard Saxon. Voor de negende keer staan ze hier al op de affiche. En naast mij zit de charismatische frontman Biff. Biff, welcome. How are you doing? Going great, actually. We like Graspop. You like Graspop? Mm. That's an understatement, I guess. Well, it's a good festival. We've played here many times. Yeah. I think it's fair to say that Graspop likes you as well. Yeah, I think so. And we brought the Eagle with us. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we were really happy today. Do you keep up the count? Do you know how many times you've played here before? Ooh, uh, I don't know. Uh, probably five or six, maybe. No, no, no. It's the ninth time today. The ninth time. Well, there you go. The ninth time. Now, Biff, you're a hero to a lot of uh, metal fans, but uh, you've become a hero to one of your band or crew members as well a couple of days ago because you saved one of your crew how members' life. That? How do you I know, know about that? That's a, that's a well-kept secret. Yeah, he... It's uh, the internet. Yeah, he uh, had a piece of meat stuck in his throat, so I, I gave him the Heinrich uh, manoeuvre. I, I learned, to, uh, somebody showed me how to do it quite a long time ago, and um, I remembered. It's very handy, especially when you've, when you've got children, because they're always swallowing things, you know what I mean? So, from my, <laughs> you know, from my kids growing up, I was always aware that, you know. Yeah. But yeah, it, it was good, uh, yeah. He probably would have died, actually, it was quite bad. Is it really that bad? It was really bad, yeah. How do you perform it, actually? Is it you put your arms? Well, I shouldn't really tell people because, you know, you have to know how to do it to yeah. do it. But, you know, the, just below your rib cage at the front, you just push it there with you. So yeah. you just get air going out, really. But you should, you know, go somewhere and find out how to do it. Don't, don't do it at home, okay? And try it at home. <laughs> Unless your mother or father's dying, and then you can try it, obviously. I guess that uh, starting off uh, a Saxon show and a Saxon tour, it's difficult to decide upon the set list. There's, I don't know how many albums already. How do you start off deciding on the set well, list? Tonight, we, uh, we let the audience pick half the set list, actually. Uh, so it's something we do sometimes for fun, you know, and the audience like it. Uh, but yeah, we have, I mean, these shows, they're not headline shows. They're, they're, you know, we're on in the afternoon or, or just before the headliner so um so the the it tends to be quite you know good form but some new songs but quite a few old songs you know i mean we're touring in uh, november december so we get the chance to play more songs then so but yeah it's a it's a mixture of sort of newish and old songs and then we let the audience pick and they pick wheels of steel they pick crusader they pick denim and leather and then we finish with princess of the night so yeah. it, it's a great They're anthemic songs, then. Yeah. We wrote those songs for big venues, yeah. you know. And a lot of people shouting along. Is that something that you had in mind, writing those songs? That well, this is something that can work on a festival site, people singing along? I think it's always good if you write songs with live in mind, you know, yeah. with the songs being played live. It's always good to have that in mind because yeah. sometimes it can bring some of the smaller parts really big, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You, you know, I like to write anthemic choruses and uh, keeping it, it live in mind helps me yeah. you know but where do you have like a desk at home where you start writing your songs because it's kind of difficult i guess if you're sitting somewhere secluded very calm to have this to festival write voice to do the set list? no no to write the songs to to, to write, write these anthemic songs it varies really but i like to um i'll sometimes uh, i'll some, well, sometimes play with the band you know really loud and i'll just sing any old anything that comes into my head and sometimes something comes out. Other times I'll sit down with my book, you know, and just write lyrics yeah. about certain things. So it, it, differ, it differs really. Yeah. I mean, next week I'm starting to write, we're starting to write a new album. We got seven basic tracks already. So next week I'm going to try to write some lyrics yeah. and melodies on that. Yeah. So I'll be concentrating, but you know, glass of wine, couple of candles, loud music, that's the secret music do you put on while you're writing your own music um usually the usually the song i'm writing yeah. about yeah. yeah yeah all right so there's already new songs in the works are, yeah. Yeah. seven songs already when will the album will be coming uh, well, out then we're, we're gonna start we're gonna start we're gonna go to the studio in september for a couple of weeks maybe and uh and start recording the basic drums and things yeah. uh, but probably next year yeah. it depends you know these things that the albums grow themselves and uh If it becomes if it comes together quickly, then it'll be out before summer. If it takes a bit more longer, it'll be out in the autumn. All right, Biff. Thank you very much for the interview, and yeah, we'll see you around. Then. I'll see you around. Thank you.